Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Dash Dev Pro. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can show or hide a set of parameters based on other parameter selection. Let's say for example, you have a parameter selection of a default date range filters like this, this week, last week, this month, last month, which we did talk about in our last video. Uh, you can go and watch that video uh, linked here or here or in the, in the description. So uh, if you want to show or hide a set of like start date and end date selection boxes, when the person selects custom date range or when the person selects default date ranges within the drop down uh, based on that how you have the parameters act and other parameters to be shown or hidden is something we should be talking about in today's video so let's get started then so let's first open up the tableau dashboard uh, tableau public from scratch so once i have this tableau dashboard open uh, i would like to first connect it to a data set right so i'll connect it to sample superstore once I have connected the sample super source, this is the data which I will, I will be working with. You can work with any other data. So here I will first uh, create the uh, date filter and the parameters and all the rest of the jazz that I had already talked about in the previous video. So if you want to create this uh, parameter based selections of default date ranges, go ahead and watch my previous video. In this video, we, we are going to talk about something else, right? So I'll just quickly create all of those things and I'll be right back. I created these four items here, master date filter, end date and start date along with master date filter parameter list. So uh, now I'll be just uh, creating a visual to visualize the order date by sales. So I'll add the order date to the columns and I'll convert it to attribute. Then I'll convert that to day and now have day wise attribute of date and now I will add in uh, sales into the rows section. Now I have a graph of plot where sales were high or low by each date and I would like to apply that date filter here so before that I will just apply this true false condition of the date filter that we created on, onto the filters and I will apply as true and I will click on ok. Once I have done that, I have applied a true filter and let's see what is selected in the parameter. Uh, so I'll just show parameter. I will see that I can select any time and let's say, let's say select 30 days. Uh, it will filter to last 30 days from today to last 30 days. It is filtering, right? For instance, if I want to apply our custom date range, I'll just select custom date range. And based on that, whatever date was selected, I'll show the end date parameter and also show the start, uh, start date parameter and let's just sort it in order so now let's just uh, set this as 7th of this month and I'll just set this as this much right so I have a graph from uh, 8th of September to 13th of January right so 7th of September data isn't there I believe so that's why 7th of September is not there and now have this custom date range acting right as soon as I shift to any time anything else like yesterday I'll see yesterday's data I'll if I click on this week I'll see a this week plot chart right uh, and now my custom date ranges that I'm selecting start and end date has no effect unless I choose the custom date range as soon as I choose the custom date range it affects the uh, visual now in essence, what we want to do is we want to create a dashboard. We want to add the sheet here and inside the sheet, whenever I do not select custom date range, these two things should disappear, right? So one way of doing this is by hiding this, uh, these two things automatically, but how do you do achieve that? So it's, it's a little, it's a little difficult in Tableau to achieve this kind of a scenario, like where you want to hide. A set of parameters based on another set of parameters selection and uh, to do this I'll create another sheet right and I'll add a blank calculated value I will add it to the rows and I'll uh, hide the header and I'll convert this to polygon now that I have converted this to polygon uh, not by polygon actually right now I've converted to polygon I'll just adjust the height about yay big and uh, then I will just uh, right click and format and go to the borders and let's see, let's just hide none 
for row dividers and now I don't see anything right it's a blank high polygon space with black value now this is there I'll just rename it as something spacer right let's just name it as spacer now that we have this spacer created and we have this visual created uh, we will go back to the dashboard we'll add we'll just cross this we'll add a we'll add a floating element right we'll add a floating element here and then inside this floating element of horizontal we'll click on this and add that to the uh, add the start and end gate to this floating element now that I have added the floating element, I'll just select the floating element again to resize it. Wow. This way. Now that we have added this, these two floating elements here and we have selected this, now we'll just uh, add a blank spacer at the top. Right. At the top, we'll add that. And then we'll move this and make it uh, floating by clicking on shift while holding it down and then leaving it while holding down the shift. Right and then it becomes floating. So now that we have this floating element, uh, just select this, move it out, and that's it. Now I have this floating element here, I'll just uh, space it here, resize it a little like that or so, and then I'll select the vertical uh, horizontal element and move it just below this and see the size, now it matches. Now what I will do is I will basically uh, create a vertical element again. Vertical element here I will add that spacer and I will hide the title. Now you see this height is there. Now I will also add these starter and date container. I'll hit, hold on to shift and I'll drop it here. Now that this is dropped right, uh, I will also then like to see if I select anything else like custom date range what will happen right and now the spacer isn't moving whenever I am selecting something else or this it's not moving right it, it's not doing anything at all and in order to uh, apply that logic I will create a calculated field here I will write it as master Date filter parameter not the true false uh, master date filter parameter equal to your custom date range right now that I have added this I'll just apply ok and I'll add this to the filter and over here I see false but I need it to be only applied when it's true right so I'll go to the custom uh, value list and I'll apply true when this value appears it will enter select it and uh, uncheck this and hit on ok so now i won't be able to see it like i'll go back to dashboard and see uh, this spacer has resized, resized itself because custom rate tinge isn't selected when it select this 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 tends to move down so that's why we are calling it a spacer because it's spacing it out now we'll just uh, move this just right about here right i think you're getting what i'm trying to go at now I'll uh, floating order I'll bring it to front and I'll also click on this and hit on mm, I'll just select this layout and backdrop backdrop white right. now whenever I'm selecting something else that becomes hidden behind it right you can just resize it about this big and again select custom rate range and that it gets resized and shown so that's how you achieve this, uh, maybe you just want to now resize it, get it big and now if I select custom date range, I can see these two selections and that gets applied and one can easily change it to something else and get that chain date range selection gets printed out, see, uh, right and if I just select something else, the selection things are not available so it doesn't miss directly. Yes. So yeah, that's about it, how you can achieve that kind of a, a trick in Tableau. And if you like this one, do comment below what next you want to see from me. And I'll be happy to help you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And 
do drop in a like and subscribe that will really help thank you